sacred sound. Woven into the language of life. Stirring in your very atoms. The sound behind all sounds. Infinite ways to receive its blessings. Sing Hugh with an open heart. Look and listen. For the love that returns to you. Love is love. And you are that. Hue is the sound of soul. Make yourself comfortable if you're a guest here and not familiar with us or our ways, that's fine. Just sit and enjoy, be comfortable if nothing else. But when you shut your eyes, look into the center here, spiritual eye area, sometimes called third eye. When you sing Hugh, know that this is one of the most sacred names for God. Sing it with love and with reverence and look for the light, listen for the sound. You may or may not have anything tonight. I'd be very surprised if you did, but just to show you how to practice it and do it on your own. It'll give you the spiritual insight that other people wish they had, but it doesn't come overnight. You have to develop this like any other skill. So let's begin with you. Thank you. 
And Myra also has two grandsons. One Saturday morning, they came over to visit. And there's Mark. He's the older. He's 13. And Jimmy's 11. He's younger, the younger. And, and she loves him dearly, so she greeted him with, you know, a lot of joy and everything else. And she said to him, but it's, it's just about time for my spiritual exercises. But you, you're free to stay out here in the room and go to the den and watch cartoons on TV. And he said, no, no. We want to do a spiritual exercise with you. So Myra says, okay. So they went into her bedroom, sat on her bed, and she says, all right, look for the light and listen for the sound. Look into the spiritual eye. And it wasn't five minutes later, she hears this snickering, and she, Myra opens one eye. She's been around, she peeks. And there she sees the younger grandson, Jimmy, sitting like this, you know, <laughs> laughing, and over his hand, over, over his hand, she sees these two laughing eyes. In the meantime, Mark, the older, was whispering one of those stage whispers, which was intended for grandma's ears, no doubt. And he says, she's making it up. She's making it up. Well, this aggravated grandma, she says, y'all get out of here and let me do my spiritual exercises. You know, she's from the South and she doesn't mess around. So they're laughing and still snickering, and they go out of the room. Myra's in there all by herself. Now, she likes her special hue session because of the love that comes through from the Mahanta. She feels all this love. So she settles in. She begins the spiritual exercise. And she's just getting into it when she hears this very gentle knocking on the door. She opens her eyes, rolls them to the ceiling, says, What is it? Mark, the older of the two, comes in very, he creeps in actually, you know, he's knowing he shouldn't be doing this. And he said, uh, Can I? do your spiritual exercise with you? He said, can I do the heal with you? It calms me down and makes me feel better. Okay, said Myra. And now Myra lays down the ground rules. She says, but this time I'll walk you through it. And you can take it from there. So Mark sat down and then Myra says, like an old hen with one chick, I put my wing around his shoulders and we started to sing Hugh. And after a while then, Myra, became quiet. And then she described the scene that they were visualizing. She, she said, we're walking on a beach, feel the sun's warmth on your body. And she takes them through this spiritual exercise very nicely, step by step. Notice the wind blowing a breeze that plays with our hair. And she's very poetic, Myra is. The silky sand is squishing between our toes. You know, I could feel that when I read this. I said, oh, yeah, boy, I remember those days. Too long ago, you know, too long ago. <laughs> and then she says, the smell and sound of ocean waves rolling into shore 
to kiss the sand at our feet. Very much the poet. And then she says, and look, there's a sailboat appearing on the horizon. But look, it's coming to shore. And there's the Mahanta at the keel. And then she described climbing into the boat and the Mahanta heading the boat for an island. And the island has a beautiful crystal callice, uh, castle on it. And then Myra stopped talking and they sat quietly. And they were listening, listening, still on the edge of the bed. Then Mark said to her in a soft voice, Our Grandma, what color is that light? She's very down earth. What color do you see? White. That's the best, said Myra. Hush, he said, it's still there. But Myra knew her moment to strike, and she replied softly, Now, am I making it up? <laughs> Mark's trying to keep what he's got on the inner going, and he says, No. <laughs> no, he wasn't. She wasn't making it up, it was so. So something was changing here too. Mark, just like that, change in consciousness. 